maybe the, you had some kind of collab. You did something with somebody that is well known, or you did something with somebody, and that person has his own small niche. The person is retweeting or sharing you. All right. Now it's good for you to also do that too. Okay. So somebody posted about you and tagged you. You can share it. Now that helps you uh, connect with that person's audience when the person posts, and helps the person connect with your audience when you post. So that intermixing that relationship is good for both of you. Right. Now, some people that feel very big and say, ah, I don't want that. That guy is too small for me to be posting. And all that. Yeah, well, so you might decide, you know, you don't want to do it, you know. But for some other people, maybe the two of you are about the same level. It would be good if you do that and share. It's good exposure for both of you. Now, for very big accounts, uh, sometimes we do it out of respect for the person that retweeted us or shouted out or called us out or. Or share our content or something we do it like that why because you know we have some sort of relationship with that person and we're happy for what the person did you know um, we believe in that person so we want to share that person's content too so it's good to do shout outs you know where you can um, do collabs uh, mention the person oh this person and i at this place oh so so and so persons were right here you know that kind of thing so it's good to do that too now another thing you could do is um uh, you know i talked of stories earlier post up your stories right now you can actually do story highlights you can do story highlights to, to highlight certain things uh, in your business for example you might want to highlight um, maybe about you uh, you want to highlight the types of products uh, maybe you're a fashion person and you do clothes for men clothes for women uh, clothes for babies or kids or children, whatever the case, you know, you might want to highlight this kind of thing. So you can do that with your highlights, your stories first. There will be stories that you can now make as highlights. You know, highlights, highlights are those things that when somebody gets to your page, before the person sees your post, those circular things that the person sees before your main post, those are the highlights. So you can put it there and highlight certain things about your brand, you know, so that can help. So it's good to also use those highlights. I use them beyond to sell stuff, my training and stuff, or certain things, or, or like testimonials now. People that are giving you testimonials and say, ah, this guy is cool, this guy is awesome, this guy has done great stuff, you know. So you can use all those highlights to bring people's attention to it, okay? All right, now another thing you could do is um, analyze your insights. It's very important, analyze your insights. Uh, you get, you see, you make a post. They like it today and so much attention on it you make that post tomorrow nobody likes it right you can have you should analyze why did that happen why did they like the one of yesterday why don't they like the one of today so could it be right let me reduce this a little bit sounds a bit loud so could it be that they didn't like it because they didn't see it maybe you posted it at the wrong time maybe they didn't see it or could it be that they didn't like it because you didn't use very good hashtags you didn't use well research hashtags right could it be that they didn't also like it because they didn't like the post at all as in it was a crazy post they were like i'm not interested in this stuff right so you just go to bypass there's some people that you follow it's not all their posts you like there are some things you just bypass right so that kind of analysis would help you know the kind of content to be creating per time if you see that they are liking a particular type of post like for example they love this one this was my most loved post ever in my life oh, my most loved post most shared most liked most everything most commented most loved most shared post most saved post in my life so that's why i'm creating the video of it do you get what i'm trying to say now so that analysis that insight that i saw showed me that this is something that people like and they'll probably want other versions of it and that's why i'm doing this video do you understand that now so take a look of your insight and what your insight is saying all right now um when you are describing yourself right your bio make sure your bio talks about you and the services you offer with the keywords that people would most likely use to search for you do not say chauffeur in nigeria why because nigerians will most probably search for a driver not a chauffeur do not say 
mm. brain expansion specialist when you actually want to say teacher because Nigerians will most likely search for teacher not brain or education expansion specialist you know we know how to create all these fine beautiful fancy names but Nigerians don't search for those names they just go for the easy thing all right now I was teaching training some people earlier this year on the cake makers right bakers and I was training them on a few things um, a few things related to cake marketing and all of that and I asked them what kind of word what kind of you know uh, what word would you use or uh, what word do you think people would use somebody said sugar I'm like okay sugar craft that cake is sugar craft I'm like yes fine cake sugar craft that is you the expert knowing that right now the person that will be searching for that service will the person search sugar craft no the person will search for what cake do you get the idea now right if you want to go to this we want to give their free advert baker's options hey, free advert or catch cakes ah free advert these are my people right or uh, which other person will I remember? No, 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 I can't remember any other name. So these are the names I remember. So now, if you want to go there, right, you would search for cakes, as in it's cakes. That's what you want to buy now. Your daughter is nine years old. Your daughter is eight years old. It's cake. Do you understand? It's cake you want to buy. It's cake you are looking for. So what would you search for? It's cake. You won't search for sugar craft. You will search for lily poppy or one of those funny names that they always do so describe yourself using the keywords that your buyers would use to look for you your buyers will use to search for you right describe yourself using those keywords write that in your bio because that's what they will use right got that okay good now the next point is um uh, okay now when you're making your posts right try to make sure that you're giving value Try to make sure it is relatable. Now, relatable is uh, I like I like posting things related to women on my page. I'll be like, why are you posting things related to me? Yeah, man. Yeah. I found out that almost sixty percent of my followers are women. So if almost sixty percent of my followers are women, there are business women. So I'm posting business related things. One, women related things. Two, why it connects with them. They can relate to it. Did you understand? If you're posting Andrew the Giant and Power Stuff and all that, women, you have to post what connects with your audience. That's why it's good to do those insights. So, relatable, high value, right? They can use it. As in, they take it and say, ah, oh, yes, this is really good. Like this thing I'm posting now, this is wonderful. I love this. This is really, really good. You know, and I'm enjoying it. This is fine. Thank you so much. Do you understand? You know, so high value, very, very important. You have to make sure that you, you know, you check out all these kind of things, right? High value, very, very important. Um, what else? What else? How many have I done now? I don't know. I don't know. I've not been counting, but I've just listened out all the things I wrote earlier. Okay. Then, with your insights, right, you can know when your followers are most online. If you look at your Instagram, click on the insights. If you have a business account, Instagram business account, click on the insights. So on the insights, you go down, right? You go down to times. Now, let's, let me quickly look at that and I'll explain to you. Now, uh, insights, so where's, where is it? Where is it? Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay, good. So when you click on insights, you, you will now see content activity audience, right? And you go down, you see feed posts, you go down stories, right? So you click activity. So you see interactions, you see profile visits, website clicks, emails, right? Uh, reach and impressions okay then you go to audience on that audience you see your number of followers you see your cities and countries okay then you see your age range you see all for, you see men you see women right then you see the gender disparity then you'll be able to see this where i saw that i have more women following me so posting women related content is good for my brand right because that's that people following me so i have to feed i have to post things that relate to them and i have to feed you know their desires do you understand right so i'm not posting for myself the handle bears my name but it's not for me it's for the audience it's like you're selling something 
what you are selling is not for you. You buy tomatoes to sell. Do you want to eat all the tomatoes? No. No. A thousand times no. All right. Okay. Now, if you go down to after gender, you see followers down there. Now, in followers, you can see a day. You see hours and you see days. Right? So, you can skip. You see an arrow beside the day. Sometimes you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You see like an arrow like this. Or like this you know going front or back so you can just twist to the particular day today is whatever day it is let's say you want to use let's say you want to use wednesday now for example right so on wednesday most of my followers are i don't know what i can say can you see most of my followers are available around 9 p.m do you understand on wednesday most of my followers are available around 9 p.m so what does this tell me it tells me that if you post around 9 p.m you can get most people to see your content do you understand you can get most of your people to see your content so this is important this is very 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 important believe me this is very important this is very key posting at these times can be the difference between having people see your post and having no one see your post all right now many Lagosians, maybe they get from around 11 very tired you now post around 12 midnight some people post around you know, one year, two year, and they say, I don't know why nobody is buying. And I say, Yeah, yeah, because we are posting for witches and wizards to buy. You understand? Because the normal human beings they are sleeping at that time. So when you are posting at one a.m. and two a.m., the witches and wizards come out and they want to buy, but they don't pay physical money. They pay spiritual money, right? Hmm? So post when normal people like us are awake. <laughs> That's when we will buy. Do you understand? That's when we will see it. Because people might say, hey, let me post at that time so that when they wake up in the morning, they will see it. Auntie, sorry. One of the things that you must know about the algorithm is algorithm cons this considers recency. How recent was that post made? So if the post was made closer to when that person woke up, let's say the person woke up at 6 a.m. and checked this one at 6.10 or 6.15, and the post was made at about that 6 there about, the person will most likely see that post first before your own. And before your own, let's say some other people posted at that time, you will now scroll down. Your own will be far, far down. So do you think we have that patient to go way, way down? No. Please. Do you get what I'm saying now? So even if he set up notifications for you, at 1 a.m., the notifications will hit, but he's sleeping. Do you get it now? So post when the audience will most probably be available. In Lagos, we wake up at about 5 a.m., 6 a.m., and we'll go to bed at about... 10, 11, 12. So post around those times. Okay? Okay. So what else are we talking about? Well, I've already talked about hashtags. Okay? Yes, I've talked about stories. Talked about uh, highlights. Talked about... Um... Aha! This is one key thing that has been... That helps me. Right? See, let me tell you. Secret. Don't tell anybody. Come on. I'm going to whisper this one. See? I look for accounts. That I know are big and have my audience on them. Who are my audience? People that will buy social media services or products from me. That's my audience. Those are people I'm looking for. So I look for accounts that can give me these people. Do you understand? I look for accounts that can give me these people. Now, when I find those accounts, I go there and I spend time. I go through. I comment on every post that they make. I comment, I talk, I show myself. Do you understand? I like comment. I make meaningful comments on those pages. Those pages gives me visibility to my audience. See, first thing I did was to find an account, a large account that has my likely that has my audience. Now I go to that account and I spend time. Right? When they make juju somebody, but reasonable comments. Do you understand? I make reasonable comments on those pages. Do you understand what I'm saying? Right? So you can do the same. Do you understand what I'm saying? So find those kind of accounts. Make reasonable comments. Comment, say things. I get a lot of visibility when I do that. People like my comments. People share. So before you know what I start getting lots of followers. Because most of them are interested in that content. Alright? Now most of them are interested in what I'm saying. Alright? They're like, ah, I like what this guy is saying. This guy is cool. Right? And let me just follow him and check out what's up. They come to my page and they now like all the things I'm posting. Probably because they are business people. They also, woo, this is so much value. Right? So they follow all these things. All right? So thank you for listening. 
Um, you can follow me on social media, as I said. I am at the Oracle VA across all social media. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Snapchat. The Oracle VA. The Oracle is spelled T H E O R A C L E V A. Do you understand? The Oracle VA or the Oracle Clever. All right. Uh, my WhatsApp number is 0806780 0806780 I'm giving out um, I'm giving out free ebook no it's not a free ebook I'm giving out I have an ebook that is on uh, Facebook ads I have a video on Facebook ads following these tips can you know, 10x your Facebook ads results okay now I'm giving them off uh, 50% right so the um, the ebook is going for three thousand. The video rather than fifteen thousand is going for seven thousand five. So if you're interested, send me a message. Uh, talk to me on WhatsApp. Like, comment on this video. Uh, share it. Um, invite other people. Follow me. Subscribe. Um, click on the notification button. Okay. So thank you guys for being here. Ah, it's a long video. I'll probably break it up into bits. Okay. But I'm always here if you need me. All right. Ciao, ciao. Thank you. Remember what I always say. Strategies win battles. Not weapons. All right. No weapons. Strategies win battles. So you fix your strategy and you get a win. Thanks and see ya.